It's on. Starting the day a little late as usual. I I'm already back at Q. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. I gotta return that Korg keyboard that we used last night uh, for Kerry Chandler. That was fucking amazing set. He, he went an extra hour, which normally I don't mind, but I kind of had some stuff to do today, so that like extra hour of sleep that I lost. I think this is what they want me to do with those foam pads. I just set it in the bottom there. I got that monstrosity of a keyboard in the car. Got to take it back to SIR. Maybe Joe's working there today. It was funny because in his writer it says, yeah, he is a, a trained audio engineer. That was like what he did before he DJed. And before he went on, about 10 minutes before he went on, uh, he asked to speak to me, not like by name. He's like, can I talk to the sound guy at the club? We had like a 15 minute conversation about all the different factors that play into how the room sounds. You know, the, the height of the ceiling, the distance between the DJ booth to the back wall, the width of the room, uh, everything, the, the type of floor that we had. It was really cool to like, to be hosting a DJ and you know, be working with someone who cares that much about how everything sounds, that they're they're willing to take time out of their artist schedule <laughs> to talk to someone like me about the specs of the place they're playing, rather than just showing up with a flash drive and banging out a few tracks. And the Mix Mag guys were there shooting, and I guess they're doing like a little editorial thing on the show last night. And they snapped a few pictures of us like talking about the the technical aspects of the club. I'm hoping that I'm gonna get in Mixmag. Wouldn't that be cool if my photo was in Mixmag? I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just dreaming a little too much right now. So sick. They're taking her away. It's funny because I also do backline rentals. And I don't think they realized it was me when I contacted them to rent the gear because I, I, uh, <laughs> I snipe a lot of their business. <laughs> Oops. Hey, if I can offer a service for less than what they're offering it for, you know, client's choice. They can pick who they want to go with. A lot of times they go with me. Backline rental shit is a good business. Originally started off, I had one DJM 900 that I was co-promoting with my friend Danny Tellez in Billings, Montana for Laura Cavender, that was like, uh, DJ LC is, was her DJ name. And she was the, she was the Playboy Mansion DJ at the time when we booked her. Playing in Billings, Montana at Rowdy's Sports Bar. I'll have to see if I can find some pictures of that show. It's, as I was saying, I got started with all this stuff because I bought a DJM 900 and I started renting it out. And I don't have like a huge business going with it by any means, but I do make a nice little bit of side money off of just renting gear out. So my advice is save up enough money to where you can get some piece of equipment that's in demand in your area, right? For me, it happened to be DJ gear because I lived in Montana and no one had CDJs. It just wasn't a thing that people owned. So I, ended, I started with the DJM 900, eventually bought CDJ 2000s, and people started knowing is like, you know, I was the guy who had CDJ 2000s. So I'd rent them out for, you know, the whole system, I'd rent it out for like 150 bucks a night. And it started paying for itself like crazy. I wanna get run over, shit. And really just kind of one thing led to another, and by the time you knew it, I've got like 13 CDJs and they go out every weekend almost. Dreamland, oh dreamland, that place I wanna be. You can smoke a little weed and live inside your dreams. Dreamland, oh dreamland, that place I wanna be. Took the tolerance break, I'm awake still in my dreams. Dreamland, oh dreamland, that place I wanna be. You can smoke a little weed and live inside your dreams. Dreamland, oh dreamland, that place I wanna be. Next up on the agenda for today, gonna head back home and shoot a couple of videos, uh, tutorial videos for the Zone DB4. 
I've been meaning to do this forever and I just haven't gotten around to it. It's finally time to just do it. I just really wanna start uploading more tutorial videos, more stuff that people find useful. I love that mixer. It, it, I think it's my favorite mixer of all time now, even above the 900 Nexus 2. If I had a choice, I would always pick the DB4. Also, my brother is coming into town tonight for his track meet tomorrow. Uh, so we're gonna go get dinner later tonight and I'll see if I can drag him to the club or something like that. We'll, we'll figure out something to do. Jesus. I love this part of Seattle. Someone had a party on this staircase. Jesus. Fuck. What is that, weed juice? Weed juice? <sighs> Fucking kids and their weed juice. I don't understand it. There's a dead Pikachu. Bomb and get heady, dynamite, tight the airy, eyes open but lit. Oh shit. We got mail, boys. <laughs> shit. Moment of truth. Ta da. Would you look at that? She's missing a few things. It's uh, but it's got wood sides. <laughs> yes. What is this it's a flash. <whistles> Spicy. German keyboard. Control your brightness. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I can't wait to actually hook that up to some lights. This is gonna be really fun. <laughs> this is, uh, <laughs> this is a, uh, a gift from a subscriber. I put this on my Amazon wish list and <laughs> someone sent it to me. Thank you, Scotty, for sending me this. This is uh, amazing. I'm gonna make some uh, keyboard waffles with this. Well, doors open in like, I don't know, hour and a half. Coda's tonight. Probably one of our best Fridays. This hat, you guys have seen this before? Should be a good night. But first I'm gonna go to dinner with my brother. New Hazer. Who this? Ah oh, fuck man. This is weird. Just hit a three P. Fuck three goes on man. Tonight was pretty fun. Noel played one of the most fire sets I've seen in a long, long time. Uh, I didn't even know she could play. It's my friend uh, Jean's fiance. Also got to see my friend Spencer from Final Data. Yeah, I am a frat boy, just so you know. It's nice to be able to catch up with people that I haven't seen in a while. Hande said she'd say hi. Hi. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. How are you? Let me come to class, please. I'm Me, I just won the Olympics, the Code Olympics, Winter Games, turn up. Woo! Shout out to my mom, we're going to Disneyland! Uh, hey. <laughs> Are you farting Trust me. Trust me. Are you Put your goddamn camera. Because it's still tracking my. Are you really? Yeah. 
I went through and just had it autoplay all Isn't your videos. Isn't it funny how many people that work here I had it know subscribe to you? I, I have through, no idea. I had it autoplay all of Andy? your videos without Andy? my pop-up blocker Kyle? and walked away. Oh. Just like Rocky. I got two. That's fucking love. Is that not love? That is the fucking loveliness. When you whitelist my fucking channel and watch ads. <laughs> No, you're gonna, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna die.